feel like I'm dressed like a Disney Channel star. <laughs> Hi everyone. Uh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have essentially part two of my Black Friday haul. So this is just a mini haul from Torrid. This was just the next package that came in. So I have four point three, it's a pair of scrunchies, things from Torrid that I'm going to show you. And actually there's two that I'm on the fence about. So let me know if I should keep or return. I can never make a decision for myself. So please let me know. All right. We're going to start with my favorite thing. This is the first one. A lot of things with Torrid, like I'll put in my cart forever and then I like just kind of keep my eye on them. This one, I was literally like shopping on Black Friday that weekend. I saw it. I'm like, I need this. And this one was the, like the most expensive. Torrid's Black Friday deal was 50% off and then I have the Torrid credit card. So I get an additional 5% off. So I got my total to an even 100 and then I ended up paying 95. So I'm pretty happy with that considering Torrid prices. So this one goes for 68.90 and I got it for 34-ish. Um, but this is like a tie-dye kind of patterned dress. It's a shirt dress, but kind of skater. I love this so much. It fits so well. It looks so nice. The silhouette on this and the movement of the skirt part are literally perfect. Also, I love tie-dye, but sometimes it can look a little childish, but with the black and white on this and like the brush stroke kind of effect, like it looks so cute. On the website, they paired it with a purple cardigan, and I do like how that look, but I don't really like how cardigans look on me. But I do have a pink moto jacket that I think will pair really well with this. Even this on its own, perfect. You could add a belt if you want, break it up a little bit, but honestly, on its own, I felt so amazing in this. It fits perfectly. It does have pockets, which was really exciting. There's also little breast pockets that are functional. I don't know what you want to put in there, a snack or something. Um, and then it has the rolled up sleeves that can button up here. I did find this a little tight rolled up, so I'll probably undo um, that and wear it, you know, as a long sleeve dress, but it can roll up to like mid, I want to say mid calf, mid arm, you know, if you want that look. So it's versatile. Um, this is not lined, so it's just this piece of fabric, but I didn't feel like it would be see-through and it's not thin fabric. So I feel like I don't have to worry about that. Plus in the winter months, I'm going to be wearing tights with this and I think that's going to look really cute too. So this was a good find and I'm really happy about it. I'm just so excited to wear this. I love it so much. All right, there's more spring vibes from this one. This one is one I'm kind of on the fence about. So it is a peplum-ish um, cold shoulder shirt. It's really cute. I'm not like the biggest fan of a cold shoulder anymore. I feel like it had its moment and I went like too deep into that trend when it was having the moment. I don't know. I don't know. Like, but like certain items I can dig the cold shoulder. And again, this is definitely more so for spring. So it doesn't really fit in with like the mind frame I'm in fashion wise right now, which might be again, why I'm on the fence about it. But I had a shirt like this a couple years ago and it was really cute, looked perfect for any summer occasion. Um, so I was like, oh, let me kind of recreate that. I do find this one a little short. I would like it to be a little bit longer. Um, and then the peplum or just like billowiness, there's a definitely like a half and half here and then it like billows out makes me look a little pregnant. So do I want that? I would like to be pregnant. I don't want to look pregnant when I'm not though, you know? So that's something to think about. The bra situation is something to think about. Um, but I do love like the big fluttery sleeve. It's really cute. I think I might return this one and who knows if it's like on super, super sale and I can get it for $9 in June. It might be a better time for me to get it then. Um, I think this goes for $48.90, woof. Um, but again, with the 50% off, this was probably $24. So not a bad price. It's a really cute shirt. I love the pink on it, but um, I don't know. I think it's it, I think it's just really coming down to it's December right now, and it's like I'm not in the mindset for this, and I just wish it was a little bit longer. I did find it a little bit short. So let me know if I should return this one. All right, so before I talked about putting things in my Torrid cart and kind of sitting on them, this is something that's been in my Torrid cart for a while now, and I was kind of waiting on the time to pounce, and now that I have it, I'm like, I don't know, was it worth it? Um, so this one is $44.90, and it ended up being like $21 when I got it, and it's this green cheetah print. They kind of call it a blazer on the website, but I just 
think it's more so of a drapey cardigan. Like there's no buttons on it and it's very loose. So when I saw this on the website, I thought it would be like green fabric and then velvety leopard prints. I thought it would be um, mixed fabrics and I thought it'd be a little bit more luxurious. So it got here and I do love the green. It's really vibrant in person, but this is just like fabric, like a, the pattern on a stretchy fabric. So it is pretty stretchy and I do love the waterfall drape effect on this kind of cardigan. I don't like a regular sweater cardigan with the boxiness on the bottom. Those just do not sit on me well. So I do love the cut of this cardigan. It really flatters me. You could kind of just pull it over your boobs and let it drape on the front of you and it'll stay. And the like waterfall kind of shark bite effect it's going it has going on in the front is super flattering and just looks really good on anybody. But um again, I was expecting something a little bit more luxe. Um, and I feel like just like this fabric is something I could find at Walmart. So I was expecting something higher quality and I know I should have like read reviews and all that stuff, but so I don't know why I was thinking there'd be like little velvet leopard things. So this one is another thing I'm on the fence about. I just don't want these two shirts to be things that sit in my closet forever, that'll end up on my Poshmark, like that kind of a thing. So I'm trying to think about the wearability. Um, so these two might be going back and they are really cute items and I know someone else is gonna love them and wear the shit out of them. But like for me, this is cute, but I don't see myself wearing this a ton. Next we got um, a staple piece of my basic bitch uniform. I am pretty basic. I've gotta let you know that. Like I do love sequins and dressing like Kimmy Gibbler, but like a lot of the times it's like cute tank, cute jacket leggings like that's kind of the day to day um and years ago i had a green tank top that was perfect for layering like a black leather jacket with it or a black military jacket with it anything and i must have donated or something because i don't have a green tank top so i just you know refilled that void in my wardrobe and the cut of this is so cute so these have fake buttons so you don't have to worry about um popping and you know showing things so this was $42.90 this was definitely on sale this one I definitely paid like $11 for because there's no way even $42.90 at 50% I'm not paying 20 ish dollars for a tank top who do you think I am so this one was definitely like on the sale section but I love the cut of this they like leave enough room for your boobs and then it gently flows away as the shirt goes on without looking tenty and boxy like it really hugs your figure here and then like nicely comes out it's not peplumy it's not boxy so i really love the fit of this also it has a bit of a high low nothing crazy nothing dramatic but it'll nicely skirt and cover your butt in the back so i like that i also love the neckline it's super feminine on an otherwise like this shirt is like army green so a nice feminine cut on something i'll probably be wearing with like a leather jacket um and then it has adjustable straps stretchiness along the back seam up here so there is going to be a little extra room um but i really really like this like a nice easy basic layering tank but it's elevated because it has the really nice cut and the buttons and the neckline and then finally just something super basic i just picked up another pack of scrunchies these were probably four bucks i got five scrunchies included in here so you got a velvet one you got some solids you got some polka dots like I love scrunchies and I said in a video in January 2017, I'm like scrunchies are coming back and look at us. Look at Visco girls. They came back. I was like a trendsetter for once in my life. I feel like I was the original Visco girl. Not really, but scrunchies are back. I love how they look on my giant head and they're just easier on my hair I feel than a hair elastic so I don't get that big bump when you take it down. They're just easier and more forgiving to your hair and it's fun to match it to your outfit like you're in fifth grade again. I'm also just really into hair accessories. I actually have so much now that I don't know how to store them. So let me know how you store your hair accessories, like headbands, these, the big clips and stuff. Let me know. I'm thinking about getting like a little like decorative box maybe from Marshalls and doing something like that. But they're kind of like all over the place in my room. So let me know 
how you store your scrunchies. Okay, so that was my mini haul from Torrid. I love Torrid. I think we know that here. It's like my favorite. Everything was in a wand. That's something I love about Torrid. I never have to be like, well, in this fabric, I might be this. And in this cut, I might be this. I'm always a wand at Torrid. So I really like that their fit is really consistent. I do kind of wish I waited because my birthday gift from Torrid is $15. That came like the day after I did this order. And I'm like, I could have gotten all this for like $80? That would have been really nice. Um, so I guess I'm gonna have to do another Torrid haul sometime this month. The Torrid birthday rewards are really good, so if you didn't know, sign up. It's all free and stuff. But let me know how you feel about the pink shirt and the green cardigan. I think I'm just gonna bring them back. It'll give me a nice opportunity to go back in store and see their new stuff and feel it and maybe even try it on. But um, I just am not excited about them and I like being excited about things like that tie-dye dress. I'm pumped to wear. And again, I just don't want it sitting in my closet forever and then ultimately ending up on my Poshmark, which you should check out by the way, because I'm always adding new stuff at rock bottom prices. My closet is overflowing. So it's like, do I really need stuff that I don't really need? No, obviously not. So check out my Poshmark and let me know how you feel about those two things. Like if I should return them or not but I'll probably return them. But to make room for more Torrid stuff, because like I said, I will be going back because I know at the end of the month they're gonna do their super sales. So that's when I clean up usually. Okay, so that was part two of my Black Friday haul. Again, I'm doing a giveaway. Go back to part one, my ASOS American Eagle H&M Old Navy haul for Black Friday. I'm doing a giveaway over there. So enter that giveaway. Who doesn't like free stuff? So go enter that. Um, all my links for these items will be down below and my sizes and other stuff. I, I never... I never know. I never know what to say. So all the product links will be down below. Whatever you want to do, it's down there. So thank you guys so much for watching. And then we have part three, which is Rue 21, Lane Bryant, and something else. I don't know. I did a lot of shopping. So that is coming. I'm waiting on the Rue 21 package, but then we got another Black Friday haul. And then I think I'm done for a while because I shop too much. Um, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.